An object dropped from a height of 210 feet will fall according to the equation h of t equals 210 minus 16t squared, where t is measured in seconds and h of t is measured in feet. And we're asked to answer two questions. First, what is the height of the object after 2.1 seconds? And two, how long will it take for the object to hit the ground? And again, we're given the function h of t equals 210 minus 16t squared, where t is time in seconds and h of t is height in feet. So if we want to determine the height after 2.1 seconds, we need to determine the function value h of 2.1. So we substitute 2.1 for t, which would give us 210 minus 16 times 2.1 squared. And now let's determine this function value on the calculator. So we'll enter 210 minus 16 times 2.1 squared. which gives us 139.44. We are asked to give the answer accurate to two decimal places. In this case, notice how we don't have to round. So because h of 2.1 equals 139.44, we know the height of the object after 2.1 seconds is 139.44 feet. Now for the second question, we're asked how long will it take for the object to hit the ground? When the object is on the ground, we need to recognize that the height h of t is equal to zero. So if we substitute zero for h of t, we have the equation zero equals 210 minus 16 t squared. So if we solve this equation for t, we can determine how long it takes for the object to hit the ground. Let's first isolate the t squared term by adding 16t squared to both sides, which would give us 16t squared equals 210. Now let's isolate t squared by dividing both sides by 16. So now we have t squared is equal to 210 divided by 16. And now to undo the squaring and solve for t, we'll take the square root of both sides of the equation. Now algebraically, we would have a positive and negative solution to this equation. But because we know t is time in seconds and t must be positive, we're only taking the principal square root of both sides of the equation. So the square root of t squared, when we know t is positive, would be t. So t is equal to the square root of 210 divided by 16. And let's evaluate this on the calculator. So second x squared brings up the square root. And we have the square root of 210 divided by 16. Notice how the entire fraction is under the square root. And now we press enter to two decimal places. T is approximately 3.62. Which means it takes approximately 3.62 seconds for the object to hit the ground. Before we go, let's also solve this graphically by looking at the graph of the function h of t on the graphing calculator. So we'll first enter the function in y equals. Notice how I've already done this to save some time. Notice how we're using the variable x instead of t. The next step would be to adjust the window, which again I've already done to save some time. If we press the window key, notice how I have the x-axis, which would be the time in seconds going from negative two to eight, the scale of one. And the y-axis, which would be the height, goes from negative 20 to 220, scaled by 20s. And now let's go ahead and press graph. If we want to determine the height after 2.1 seconds, we can press second trace for calculate, select option one for value, and enter the x value of 2.1, which is really time in seconds. So 2.1, enter. Notice how the y value is really the function value h of t, which we already found as 139.44. And then for the second question, to determine how long it takes the object to hit the ground, we need to determine this point here where it crosses the horizontal axis, which is also called the zero of the function. So to determine the answer to the second question graphically, we again press second trace for the calculation menu, select option two for zero. It's asking for the left bound of the zero, so let's move this cursor closer to the horizontal intercept, but to the left of it, which would be just above the horizontal axis.
So let's say approximately here, press enter. The right bound would be a point below the horizontal axis, so we'll press the right arrow somewhere here. Notice how we are to the right side of the horizontal intercept, so we'll press enter. And then when it says guess, we can just press enter or move the cursor closer to the actual horizontal intercept. Let's say here, press enter, and notice how we do get approximately 3.62, which we found algebraically. So this problem can be solved algebraically or graphically using the graphing calculator. I hope you found this helpful.